Good morning. Uh, so yeah, I am Tom Lee. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of a company by the name of Simpler. We're a social media analytics company that uh, specializes in healthcare. And our servers actually have an excess of 1.7 billion healthcare-related tweets. And within that, we have the entire Twitter history of over 7,000 healthcare conferences. And you're going to hear some research having to do with those conferences later on uh, in this event. But for right now, I'm going to kind of dial this in a little bit because I want to talk about this conference. Medicine X is special. And we could go on and on about reasons why that is, but let's kind of leverage some data and really look at the facts. Last year at this event, there were over 34,000 tweets by 6,000 people, and that left a potential for 224 million impressions. So let, let me help you to kind of uh, understand that a little bit more. No other healthcare conference propagates ideas as much as Medicine X. Take a look around you. There's only a couple hundred people here. But last year, about 6,000 people joined in virtually and they started to help spread the messages around the globe. But even with all that activity, it doesn't make an impact unless the ideas being shared get in front of the right people. And that's why impressions are so important. So when we look at those conferences that create the highest number of impressions, Medicine X stands out as the one creating the most impressions with the fewest people. But it's not just about these overall numbers. I like to count uh, quality tweets, those that create conversations, the back and forth replies, as opposed to just the random retweet that you'll see. And no conference creates more conversation as measured by the number of replies on Twitter than Medicine X. But you know, all these numbers that we share with you that kind of help to quantify the activity, they actually represent relationships. And relationships, as well as how it was that Medicine X shined last year, can be visualized in different ways. This is a dynamic network centrality graph. And all of those, those uh, connections you see happening, those are the conversations and relationships being formed at last year's conference. Every node on that graph is an individual Twitter account, and every line on there indicates an interaction between two or more parties. And, you know, uh, lots of conferences from around the world, they'll have many, many individual tweets and retweets, but like I said, it's been proven that Medicine X creates more conversation than all of them. And by the way, when you reply to somebody's tweet, include the MedX hashtag in your reply because that's the thread that ties these, conference, or these conversations together and makes them discoverable by others. So let's, let's go another level deeper. These bubbles are representing different topics of discussion last year, some of the main topics. And you'll probably see some terms in there that actually came from a tweet from Aaron Moore that created a firestorm of a discussion when she said, I hate the term patient engagement. No one is more engaged or involved than the patient. I want researcher, clinician, and industry engagement. And that sparked a conversation. But you know, these topics that we show you here, these, these are come about by looking at all of the different stakeholders rolled into one group looking at them all together. And we actually find that there's much more value if we're willing to listen to the different voices in healthcare. And so what you're looking at here are those topics of discussion that were unique to doctors last year in the green bubbles that you see off on the right, as compared to those topics of conversation that were unique to all the other healthcare professionals in the pink bubbles on the left. And this way we can kind of compare how these two groups differ from one another. And yeah, they had a lot of you know, common terms they were using and that's what the set is in the middle there. But it's much more interesting to look at and understand what makes a group unique. You know, we all have our own uh, 
uh, opinions and our own uh, things that are important to us, but we can learn more if we're willing to really listen and try to understand the views of others, especially others that we don't often get a chance to listen to or who may have opposing views to our own. So, what makes Medicine X special? I think it's all of you. And that's because it's the diversity of who all is here. When all the voices have a presence and a stage, when everyone is included, conversations take place. So over these next few days, I'll encourage you to please share, listen, and engage in conversations, and perhaps do so with somebody who could not be more different than you. Thank you.